Our coverage continues exclusively with local leaders weighing in on tonight's decision. Only Matthew Simon was with Madison Police Chief Mike Koval and Boys and Girls Club CEO Michael Johnson when this decision came down, Matthew. And they were watching this news so intently. They had their eyes glued to the TV, both Chief Koval and Michael Johnson intently watching this news, taking notes and then reacting with continued calls for peace. Johnson, who spoke with African American leaders earlier today, especially making that plea to those he says might feel a great sense of injustice. There will be people that will feel that way. And uh, so all I'm simply saying is that when you see right after, right after this decision is made, you see military ge military gear come out as soon as he make uh, his statement. It's just not the right response um, to the community. And that's why I wanted to make sure tonight that while I was here, that I was here with our local police uh, chief because it's important in terms of the kind of tone that we set um, right here in Madison. Now moving forward, however, is how will we as community move forward to be respectful, but also to give voice from a civic standpoint of how we feel the system is working, or in this case, might not be working for people of color. You had sent a message to the community as a whole, and then you sent a message to young black men today. Why did you do that? Michael Brown's both his mother and his father have asked us all to make sure that we respond with peace, that we voice our concerns and we don't, don't go out in our communities and destroy it. So I want young black men uh, and young black women in this community to understand what happened today, uh, to learn about our history and figure out how do they make sure that they grew up to become uh, productive, responsible adults. Chief, there is a protest plan tomorrow that you're aware of. What do you want the community to know as there's a lot of young people headed down on the streets? What is your message to them? We want to say you do have that right to assemble. You do have the right to express dissent. We don't want to impede it. We don't want to deny it. We don't want to do anything except foster it. But to the extent this can be a win-win proposition where the First Amendment can be exercised and where people's privacy and their property can also be respected. The Chief and Michael Johnson are committed to that nonviolence mission about not letting what's happening in Ferguson tonight happen here tomorrow. Immediately after our conversation, which ended about 9 o'clock tonight, both men left our studio to go talk directly to our community's young people. All right. Thank you, Matthew.